What's up YouTube? For this video, we're going to do a quick review of this shirt right here. This is the Lululemon Metal Vent Tech T-Shirt 2.0. This shirt costs about $78 retail, but the question for this video is, is this shirt worth that price? First, we're going to do an overview of the shirt, then we're going to talk about sizing and fit, then we're going to definitely go into the pros and cons behind the performance aspect of the shirt. And then at the end, we're going to talk about whether this shirt is worth that $78 price point. So with that being said, let's get into it. So here's a quick overview of the shirt. As you can see, I got it in this navy blue colorway. In terms of the materials of the shirt, it's made out of 49% nylon, 43% recycled polyester, 4% elastane, and 4% ecstatic nylon. And later in the video, I'm going to talk about why those materials are important. There's some cool hidden features behind this shirt right here. There's a little hidden message underneath the sleeves. Uh, under the left sleeve, it says move your body. Underneath the right sleeve, it says still your mind. And then underneath the back hem of the shirt, it says movement is medicine, which I totally agree with. The overall appearance of the materials looks like it has this heathered kind of pattern to it. And the last detail you'll see is this little Lululemon logo. It's a reflective patch on the back left side of the shirt. In terms of sizing, I got here a size medium. For reference, I am 5'8 and about 150 pounds. This is a size medium and I feel like it fits me great. They categorize the shirt as a slim fit and I would say I'm a pretty much a slim build. Medium is pretty much my true size when it comes to the majority of my workout shirts. I got a medium in this and it worked out great for me. So true to size is my recommendation. With that being said, let's talk about the pros and cons of this shirt. First, let's talk about the pros. Pro number one is that this is a very lightweight shirt. This is arguably the most lightweighted shirt I've ever owned in terms of workout clothes. And when you have it on body, it's so lightweight and thin, it almost feels like you're not even wearing a shirt at all. It feels very free and very airy, and I think that's just a huge plus when it comes to comfort. Pro number two is that this shirt has minimal seams for less chafing. Personally, I've never had a problem with chafing with any of my workout shirts anyway, and I think it's because I either don't produce a lot of sweat or because I have a pretty thin body build. Either way, because of the fact that they use very thin materials and very minimal seams, you are much less at risk of chafing your skin. Pro number three is that this shirt is stretchy and breathable. They incorporate 4% elastane in the materials, which is going to help with flexibility and mobility. I made this comment in a previous workout shirt video I've done in the past, but in my opinion, 4% elastane is all you need in order to perform all your functional workouts. With this shirt in particular, I've done various workouts from cardio to plyometrics to weightlifting to basic sports. And with all those basic workouts, I've never had any mobility restrictions with this shirt. Pro number four is that with this shirt so far, I have not struggled with any static clean. With a handful of my previous workout shirts, I would get the staticky feeling when my skin is either dry or when it gets really hot outside, but not the case with this shirt, so huge plus. Pro number five is this shirt provides body odor resistance. This shirt incorporates what they call ecstatic antimicrobial technology. Supposedly, they call this a silverescent fabric, which is made of like 99.9% .9 silver. And this pure metallic silver is a material that has that antimicrobial property that prevents the growth or inhibits the growth of odor-causing bacteria. And for the most part, I would say that I do notice and feel the effects of this technology. After a long day of wearing this shirt, working out, running errands, having a little sweat in me, I can definitely appreciate the fact that I do not stink too bad, if at all. And I do admit that I actually do struggle with that problem where I do produce BO uh, in other workout shirts that I've worn. I definitely notice it when I'm wearing my Nike shirts in particular for some reason, but again, with this shirt, I do appreciate the fact that it makes me not stink after a long day of wearing it. All right, so those are the main pros of this shirt, but now let's talk about the cons. Con number one is that this shirt is not as sustainable as you think. On the tag here, it says 100% of the polyester in this product is recycled. But don't let these marketing tactics fool you. 100% of the polyester is recycled. But as I mentioned earlier, 43% of the shirt is comprised of the polyester. The other 57% is elastane or nylon, which both of those are not sustainable. So just really keep an eye out on those marketing tactics. Uh, just because they always point out the good part of things doesn't mean the whole entire shirt is sustainable in this case. So if that is very important to you, this shirt might not be for you. 
Con number two is that the quality of the materials is not so great. To be fair, this shirt does have a lot of pros, but one of the bigger downsides of the shirt is that the quality of the materials are wearing down pretty quickly. So as I've washed the shirt a handful of times also, I'm noticing that the materials and the fabric is starting to peel more and more. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but when you have the materials up close, you can see how the fabric is in this woven type of pattern. And after a couple of washes, the woven material is starting to pill. I really don't see this shirt lasting too long as you wear and tear it and abuse it. All right, next I just want to compare this Lululemon shirt to this Nike dry fit shirt. This Nike dry fit shirt has been my go-to workout shirt for a while as well. Uh, and it's also in this navy colorway. So I just thought I'd compare the two. From a comfort standpoint, I definitely prefer the Lululemon shirt over the Nike shirt. It's very airy, thin, less staticky, and less sticky feeling. And the odor resistant property on the Lululemon shirt is far superior than the Nike shirt. For some reason, when I work out in these Nike shirts, uh, I do notice that I stink a little more after wearing these shirts for some weird reason. And I definitely did not have that problem with the Lululemon shirt, so huge plus. But now the big question is, with this Lululemon shirt being $78 retail and this Nike dry fit shirt being about $20 retail, is this huge price difference worth it? And I would say for the most part, it really depends, but I'm actually veering more on the side of no. I think the huge part of paying the steep price tag is you're basically paying for the brand name, but it does have those strong pros about the shirt as well. Don't get me wrong, the shirt feels great, it looks great, uh, it helps you feel good when you're exercising and being active. But for me, the biggest downside of the Lululemon shirt is the longevity and the quality of this shirt. If I'm going to be paying $78 for a shirt like this, I'm really hoping that it also lasts a long time. Unfortunately, after about five washes or so, I'm already starting to notice that this shirt is going to lose its longevity and lifespan pretty quickly. And again, considering that I've actually owned this Nike shirt for a long time, I probably have worn this shirt at least 15 to 20 times and it's still holding up pretty good. It's definitely doing its job in terms of uh, keeping me active and having the basic properties of any workout shirt. So yeah, from a practicality standpoint, I can basically buy three of these shirts for the price of one of these. And these shirts are still going to get the job done. Now I will say that for the $78 price tag on the Lululemon shirts, the biggest pro of the shirt is its antimicrobial technology. If you really do struggle with the body odor problem, then this is a shirt worth considering. If you also find yourself in settings and situations where you're either trying to attend uh, busy classes, workout classes, or you're trying to go out and socialize, uh, basically being in social settings, then yeah, you actually might want to consider investing in a shirt like this. Otherwise, if you're just a casual athlete that works out on your own time or in the privacy of your own home, or you're just going on runs uh, where you're not near people, then you really don't need a shirt like this. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What is the most amount of money that you would spend on a workout shirt? If you made it this far into the video, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot, and consider subscribing for more content on style, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, check out some of my other workout clothes related videos here or here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.